So today I thought I would do a kind of mini bathroom tour and I'm going to show you guys what's in my medicine cabinet which is behind this mirror right here and I just thought I would film a quick and formal intro right here. I am a little bit sick if you can't tell already from the voice change. So basically I'm not going to show you guys my whole bathroom because it's kind of messy and I just thought this would be kind of fun to do especially since you guys get to see like the products that I use and it can be kind of like a mini skincare routine. Really quickly before we get into the medicine cabinet um, just want to show you guys my daily cleanse, not my daily cleanser, my exfoliator, um, which is from St. Ives. It's an even and bright, um, like grapefruit and orange one, and it's really refreshing. I don't use it daily. I don't use this. I use my Dr. Verner's Magic Soap, which would normally be there, but it's in my shower right now, um, and that's my daily cleanser. So now let's go ahead and take a peek into what's in my medicine cabinet, mm -hmm. and I am absolutely obsessed with how this looks. Like absolutely love how everything is displayed I don't know I just get like I'm so happy looking at this I don't know why but um so let's start from the top because I just have some travel makeup bags and I have q-tips and round in this first shelf of products I have starting from the side um I have a this is a prescription medicine that I got for hyperpigmentation um in the underarm and I have my floss and then my Colgate Optic White uh, mouthwash, which I actually, I normally use Listerine Zero, but I got this for free from Influencer. Um, so I am currently in there. I have like a facial mask that I have yet to use. I have a little travel container of shampoo, but I have a travel container of body wash as well. Because you guys know I went on the cruise, so I have these two here um, that I brought with me. And then I have a uh, travel size sunscreen. This is a banana bow sunscreen. I'm not sure which one, but I just keep that in there. And then I also have the Neutrogena Wet Skin um, Spray Sunscreen, which I also use during my cruise, especially. And then down in this next shelf, I have my two makeup removers. So I have my clean, that one is a clean clear actually. It's just in the bottle, but it's the Target brand, the Up and Up makeup remover and then uh, I'm almost out speaking of which that's bad um, and then I have my bioderma also in travel container I have my current perfume it's the Victoria's Secret Midnight Exotics uh, in Deep Berry and then I have my razor behind it I also normally have my tweezers but they are elsewhere at the moment and then I have my deodorant which is the Toms of Maine uh, natural deodorant this one's aluminum free and it's the one that I've been using I've gone through only one of these um, and this is my second one and I like it but it's definitely not for like when you're working out or like when you're sweating a lot but it's good for like daily use. and then I have this like hair oil that I got in a beauty box uh, forever ago really and I just brought it because I thought I would try to use it up and I haven't really gotten very far that one and then um, I have two of the same things really this is the uh, however you pronounce that can't focus the camera because I only have one hand French and I love their hand creams I have another container at home but this is a f like full-size one that I've used up obviously and then this is a purse uh, travel size one and then down here are all of my like skincare products so I guess we'll start from this side this time um, I also have from the same brand as the hand cream a essential water which is pretty much a toner and it came in like a travel set so I'm just kind of giving that a try um, and then I have a, a body shop aloe vera eye defense and this is like the eye gel that I've been using I don't really like I haven't really used it long enough to see results um, so can't tell you guys much about that, but I do like it. I think it's very soothing and it's like a gel So it feels very nice on the skin and then this is my acne spa treatment, which is Neutrogena Naturals I think it kind of works. It's not like spectacular though, but um, I do like it and then I have this oops um, a lot of my skincare is from the body shop if you've watched the um, my Black Friday haul, you know, I kind of started to try out some of their skincare because I've been meaning to and they had a sale so that's why most of the stuff is from there and this is from the tea tree line which I've heard a lot of good things about and this is a blemish fade night lotion um which this thing is tiny it's only one floor it's really good I love this stuff like I my face kind of feels warm afterwards and the first time I used it I thought I was having an allergic reaction but um, that's just the way it makes your skin feel and I love it actually um, So I think this is really good stuff It's just really tiny and really really expensive if you don't get it on sale and even on sale This was ten dollars, which is really expensive for how tiny it is So I don't know if I'm gonna be repurchasing it, but I do love this a lot um, It's probably the favorite thing from my new like 
product line that I've tried out from them. And then to go along with that, I got the Tea Tree uh, face mask, which I've only used once so far. My daily night, no, this is my morning moisturizer. I use that at night because it is kind of drying because it's tea tree and acne medication. So I use this in the morning and this is the vitamin E moisture cream, which is really, really nice. I like it. I don't think it's spectacular. It's just kind of like a basic moisturizer. It doesn't really have any other function um, than moisturizing, which I like because it gives my skin a break from all the tea tree. Um, stuff, but I, you guys know how I love the St. Ives, uh, what's it called, collagen elastin moisturizer, and that thing comes in a 10 ounce tub, a 10 fluid ounce tub for only like $5, so I definitely think that this is good, but I'm not going to repurchase it because I think my St. Ives one is just as good and it is also a lot cheaper. Um, that is everything that is in my medicine cabinet. Um, I hope you guys found this video somewhat entertaining and interesting to watch. And yeah, so I'm going to close this door and say a quick goodbye to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm probably going to stay in bed and read a book because I just feel... I don't feel too bad, actually. I just, like, my nose is just not feeling well. Obviously, I was hoping it wouldn't develop into a cold, but it So did. I will see you guys in my next video. And let me know what you guys thought of this one. Leave comments down below. I love it when you guys leave comments. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and I will see you guys later. Bye.